first law of Newton that the idea starts with a very simple statement. The statement is if you let an object free that is there are no forces on an object. If there are no forces on an object then an object will either remain at rest or keep moving with constant velocity. So, move with uniform velocity. Now, what does that mean? That means, if an object was already at rest, it remains at rest. Okay? So, that means, this fellow was not moving, keeps remaining like that forever. If it was, there were no forces acting at all on it. That is, you are very far away, deep into space. Suppose you go between one galaxy and another galaxy and you take this object and you leave it there, it will just remain there. On the other hand, if this object started moving with a velocity of 3 meters per second or was moving at 3 meters per second, then it will keep moving at 3 meters per second, 3 meters per second, 3 meters per second forever. If it was moving at 5 meters per second, it will keep moving at 5 meters per second forever in a straight line. It does not change its velocity, it does not slow down, it does not speed up, it does not turn around. This law says that these two things are natural. That means you, the body does not need any external force to for this to happen. Everything else requires a force. Suppose there is no force, what will happen? The body will remain at rest or it will keep moving. Now, remain at rest is at least reasonably easy for us to understand. From the beginning of the class, suppose I come and leave this uh, duster here, it is at rest, it remains at rest. After half an hour, if I look at it and the duster still remains here, will you be surprised? No, you expect that it will be there. But if I desired to give this a push, okay, or I gave it a velocity, not a push, let us say a velocity, because of a push. Now, then do you expect that this will keep on moving? If after half an hour you find that it keeps on moving like this, then you will be surprised, right? So, you do not expect that an object that is moving keeps on moving. You expect that it will actually slow down. But that is because on earth there are lots of forces. Look at the statement. If there are no forces acting on an object, then an object will remain at rest or keep moving with uniform velocity. Now, this statement has a lot of, it is a huge importance, but it is also not easy to prove. Aristotle started off by arguing that everything will come to rest. Even if it was moving at 3 meters per second, ultimately it will slow down and it will come to 0. And after that, it will remain at 0. So, as far as Aristotle was concerned, he would say that rest is the natural state. Galileo discovered that it was not just rest, but also uniform velocity, which is natural state. So, does this mean that a body will keep doing whatever it is doing? If it was at rest, it remains at rest. If it is moving, it keeps moving. So, it will do whatever it is doing? If there are no forces. Yes? What if the object was moving with 3 meters per second square acceleration for the last 1 hour and I leave it? What will it do? It will go for some time and then? Stop. Well, if you just tell me if it stops, that means you do not believe this law. No forces. Without? No breaks, nothing. So, I take this object, let us take this ball and I start to move it for a while. I am holding it for a while. I keep pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. So, for a while it has an acceleration. Let us say last one hour it had an acceleration of 1 meter per second square. Then I leave it. After this, what will happen to it? Will it keep going? No. Will it keep going at 1 meter per second square? No. no. It will not go at the constant acceleration. If there are no forces, it will go constant No, it will not. If there are no forces, it will not go at constant acceleration. It will only go with constant velocity. Okay. Now, constant acceleration is not special. Not just that, 
if an object was going in a circle let us say last 20 years the object was going in circles if you take this object it's easy to make this fellow go in a circle okay so let us say now it's going in a circle now if i don't exert any forces on this object will it keep going in a circle no then what will it do it will actually move in a straight line okay it won't go in a circle anymore it doesn't want to go in a circle circle is not a natural motion for this object so let us understand this a little bit better so if i took this circle okay now basically it has been going in a circle many many rounds if i let it go there it doesn't want to go like this it doesn't want to go like that it is being forced to go like that because i am pulling with my with the thread if i stop pulling then at that point it has a velocity that way and that's the direction it will go in it won't go in a straight line forever because earth is also pulling it but it will try to go in a straight line that's what it wants to do so let us see okay ready if i keep going like that and i'm going to let it go at that point you can see that that's the direction it went it didn't go in a circle going in a circle is not natural this is not natural accelerating 3 meters per second square not natural but going with the same velocity is natural okay to go in the same velocity it doesn't need any extra forces now it's not easy to believe what is says is if you took this object and you kept making it pushing it for a while from 3 this will become let us say 5 meters per second to make it go from 3 to 5 requires force but if at this point i let it off that is i don't touch it with any more forces and there are no other forces acting on it then what will it do it will keep on going with 5 meters per second forever now forever means you come back after 100 years you will find that this fellow is far away straight line still moving it 5 meters per second before you were all born sometime around 1970 mid 1970s nasa sent out a rocket basically a spacecraft called voyager 1 okay now that voyager 1 this is the earth this is the sun voyager 1 shot off like that this is jupiter it went across and around jupiter it kind of was bent a little bit and as it neared saturn it bent again because uh, jupiter's gravity bent it and saturn's gravity bent it now here it required forces but after that it just kept going kept going kept going kept going kept going and still going you are talking about almost 40 years 38 39 years now okay so this fellow has been going it's almost at the end of the solar system edge of the solar system and the fuel with which it was sent basically ended somewhere here the fuel did not even last for a couple of months you can't have that much fuel anyway so just very little fuel for a little bit of navigation here and there but after that the fuel is all out fuel has been out for now almost 35 years more than 35 years and it's been moving continuously in a straight line so it's going this way and gravity makes it bend it's attracting because otherwise this fellow would be there so instead of being there it is here is this closer or this closer so gravity pulled it okay but gravity may not have been able to pull it so well that it actually comes down directly like for example if i take this object and throw gravity pulls it down then why does it go and fall there because it already has a velocity and gravity can only bend it okay so what gravity does is to pull exert a force but what the object wants to do on its own is to move with constant velocity so what it will actually do will be a combination of the two this fellow wants to go like that this jupiter's gravity is saying bend it's saying actually come towards me so i want to go away and you are saying come towards me i will do together if i take a ball and throw it up i want to go up earth is saying come down so instead of going up as much as 
I would have how much would I have gone up u into t this is what I would have gone up but because earth pulled me down I come down half g t square which means I only go up u t minus half g t square does this look like a formula you already know what is it s is equal to u t plus half a t square a is minus g in this case the object wants to go up u t without gravity but because of gravity it comes down half g t square ok now if you throw it like this the object wants to go there because of gravity it gets pulled here so it actually goes like that and then finally it will come down like that because now it wants to go like this and gravity pulls then here it wants to go like that and gravity pulls ok so we will spend some more time later to think about what this idea means what I wanted to at this point concentrate on is that if there are no forces acting on an object object remains at rest or moves with uniform velocity